What the fellas, the I Jesse here. I'm back for another LEGO Avengers 2020 set review for you guys. And this time, I'm reviewing the fourth set for the lineup, and that is the Avengers Truck Takedown. It's at 76143, it ages 7 plus, it has 477 pieces and 4 mini figures. Now, my mom got me this set at Amazon, so it did appear the last week on Thursday, but I thought it would show up this Wednesday. So, this is gonna be a nice set. With the mini figs and the builds of this set for the lineup. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the mini figures first. So first up, I want to start off with the new Captain America, the new version of him. So he's exclusive to the set. Now this is the only set that you can get him. Now this version of him is the 2020 Avengers video game version. So I'm very happy they made this version. So he does come with the same shield from the Endgame sets from last year. Yeah, one Endgame set that he appeared as you can see. So, same inside part right there. So, set that aside. So, the helmet is also the same too from that Outrider set from Endgame. With the A pretty right there. And the side of the helmet pretty right there. And the torso pretty looks really good. So, I really like that. But I wish they gave him some arm and leg pretty right there. So, yeah, that is... Really cool. I like the star and some stripes right there. So yeah, that is really cool. And here's his back torso pretty as you can see. And it looks really nice with some silver. And yeah, that is really nice. It also... This is what the face print looks like when you take the helmet off. So he has that brown strap right there for the part of the helmet. So yeah, that is really nice. It also... Here's his other face that he doesn't have the strap and he's smiling. So yeah, that is... Really awesome. And also, if you guys don't want him with the helmet on, they gave you a hair piece for him. So, yeah, that looks really nice. So, this is a nice version of Cap Die Cap for the lineup. So, that is it for Cap right there. Next up, here we have the first new comic book version of Hawkeye. So, he is also exclusive too. So, I'm very happy they made a comic book look. Now, the look of him is based off of the Avengers Assemble look, or in the comics right there, and he has that same classic bow and arrow piece right there, so set that aside, so here he is without his bow and arrow, so I really like the face print right there, and the torso printing, it looks really nice, and he has the same classic black legs without printing right there, as you can see, and yeah, it looks really nice, and here's the back of him with his quiver on, which is very nice, and he has a second face that he is very upset that he wanted to kick some aim butt right there. Also, when you take the head off so, and so it's the quiver, this is what his back torso pretty looks like when you take the quiver off. So, yeah, it looks really nice right there. So, yeah, they did a nice job with him. So, yeah, I really like this version of Hawkeye and he looks really awesome. So, that is it for Hawkeye right there. Last but not least, here we have. The AIM agent. You do get two of them in this set. Now, the other one is wearing a jetpack and has a flamethrower. And this is what the back of the jetpack for the other one looks like, as you can see. So, yeah, same AIM agent that he appeared in the speeder bike set. So, yeah, this is the same look with the torso protein and same face print right there. And nothing on the legs right there. So, yeah, he is really awesome. And same gas mask right there so yeah that is really awesome and also here's the same back torso printing as you can see and when you take the helmet off and move the mask the face print itself is the same one from that speeder bike attack so yeah i really like this aim agent and he looks pretty cool okay so that is it for the mini pictures now here we have the builds in this set we have the aim trike and drone and the truck so let me start taking a look at the truck first. So, here we have the truck. Now, the build of it looks uh, really good. Well, it's still fine by me, in my opinion. So, yeah, it is really nice. So, here's the top in front of it right here. We have the headlights, and we have a sticker on the license plate. It says NA811. So, yeah, that's the license plate. It's not a printed one. It's a sticker. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. I like how they add those power bursts pieces that are flamethrowers that you could burn the crap out of those aim agents right there so yeah that is really nice right there so here we have the side of the truck we have a robotic arm that you can move a little bit 
Um, so, yeah, the reason why I say that because the power burst pieces might get in their way. And also, we have an Avengers Ace symbol right there that is a sticker, not a printed one. The look of it is the same one from the Endgame lineup. So, yeah, I like those two sticker parts right there, as you can see. And this is what the bottom of the truck looks like, as you can see. Here's the other side of it. We have the same sticker, same arm right there. And yeah, it is really nice. And this is what the back of it looks like. We have this trigger right there that I will show you guys in a second. And you can't fit a minifigure in the driver's seat. So you can't open that glass piece open. And this is what it looks like, the driver's seat itself. Now let me go ahead and take a zoom in right there. Now you can't fit Clint or Hawkeye. I mean... Hawkeye or Cap in there. So first, like I said before, you got to put their arms and legs up like this. And there you go. Now, you're all set to go. Now, yeah, just like that. You can't only fit one minifigure in there. And also, as for that trigger, it's a play feature. Now, let me show you guys how it works. When you press it, guess what happens? It opens up like that, and yes, it, on the inside, you can see how that works. So inside, we have a little blaster right there, or another flamethrower. So you can pull this up. Well, every time I do that, I keep breaking it. So let me take that off so I could refix it again. So yeah, you can do that with that flame piece on the flamethrower so let me try to put that on there we go so yeah every time I keep doing that I keep breaking it so yeah easy to put that on now you can't fit a minifigure on there well you could stand them up or sit them down however you want so I just gotta put cap right there and also you can't spread those parts out just like so and yes, we have a stud shooter right there, so easy to fire them out. Yes, I launched them on the floor. Now, if you lose one of these, they will give you a few extra ones in the set. So yeah, you can't throw their accessories on there. So that is all we got for the truck build. So nothing much. I like the stud shooter gimmick. It also, it does roll just like so too. So yeah, that is all we got for the truck right there. So yeah, I really like it. It, it is pretty cool. So... That is it for the truck, the Avengers truck. So, set that aside. So, let's take a focus look of the aim trike. So, here it is. Now, it looks really nice right there. So, this is the front of the trike. So, yeah, this is the front of it. We have this big wheel right there and two smaller ones. So, yeah, that is really nice right there, as you can see. So, Here's the side of it, which is really nice, and it is pretty cool. So, this is what the bottom looks like, and also, this is what the top of it looks like. Here's the back of it with that stud shooter right there. And here's the other side of it. Now, we have the aim stickers right there, as you can see. Same thing on the other side. Now, you can't fit a minifigure on there, so yeah... Only one because there's only one driver to drive the trike. It also, yeah, just like that. And also, it does also roll too. Now, yes, I dropped the drone. And when you take it off, this is what the top of it looks like. So, here we have the drone itself. Now, as you can see, it is a small build in this set right here. So, here's the front of the drone right there. As you can see, it looks really nice. So, here's the top of it. This is what the top of it looks like once again when you take off the part of the trike right there that's a sticker right there here's the bottom of it as you can see here we have the side of it as you can see here's the other side of it and here's the back now those lantern pieces can move in and out and also again if you guys don't know how stud shooters work like that if you lose one of these they will give you a few extra ones that you can't put this back on like that so sometimes it easily falls off very easily when you're trying to drag the trike around too so that is all we got so nothing much for 
the set itself. So that is all we've gotten so far. So overall, this set is not a bad looking set. Well, I never said it was, but it is really nice. So you do get nice minifigures. Two of them are the same ones, and two are new and exclusive. So yeah, I really like this one. So this is the fourth Avengers set for the lineup, and yeah, I really like it. So I really like the truck build. Yes, I like the truck build. It is really nice. So I like how you can use that trigger piece to open up those parts right there. So you can bring out that cannon part. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Again, you might want to be careful when you're trying to take it out since when I was done building it, I wanted to have fun with it. Well, sometimes it pops off easily. So yeah, that's really annoying and a shame. So I like the Avengers A symbol stickers on the side of it, the license plate, the robotic arms, and I like how they add power burst pieces on there like flamethrowers so you can burn the crap out of those aim agents. So yeah, that is really awesome. I really like that. And also, we have the aim drone and trike right there. So the trike itself is really nice. I like how they added two small wheels and a big wheel right there. So I like how you can add the drone, but it's really annoying how it falls off easily. So yeah, that sucks how it falls off easily. But the drone looks really good. I like how you can shoot some stud shooters on here and you can put it back. But it's a, it sucks how it falls off the trike easily. So yeah, it is a shame about that. But the aim agents are the same one. So yeah, same agent from the speeder bike set. A cap is brand new. So the look of him, like I said, is the same well, not, not the same. Well, the look of it is the new 2020 Avengers video game cap right there. I like the shield and helmet right there. Same ones from the end game version, which is nice. And yeah, he looks really cool. I like that new head right there with the two new printed faces right there. And Hawkeye is new. So this is the comic book look or the Avengers Assemble version. So yeah, that is really awesome. Well, I wish he was in the game, but we'll see how... That turns up for the lineup. So, yeah, we'll see how that turns up. So, hopefully Cap will survive in the game. Well, I like the new version. And yeah, it is really awesome and super cool looking. So, yeah, the aim agents, like I said, same ones from the speeder bike set for the lineup. So, yeah, that is pretty cool looking. And it's totally awesome for this theme lineup. So, nothing much to say, but still. So, that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new, hit that notification bell, the save button, link in the description, and Hulk smash that comment section down below. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about this set for the lineup. I'll see you later, alligators.